OK, we can finally move on to layout files. So if I switch back, I want you to notice how all of our pages at the moment are manually importing the nav and then adding it here. So it's in Home, it's in Settings, and it's also in Users as well. So if I end up with 20 different pages, that's 20 different times I have to pull in the navigation and render it where it needs to go. Clearly, you already know this. That's not quite right. So instead, let's prepare a layout file. And I'll add it to my shared directory. So the very first thing I'll do here is pull in our nav. And then, of course, I need to import it. All right. And then register it as a component. All right. So now our nav will exclusively live within this layout file. OK, so now, for example, if I go back to home, let's swap this out with our layout. And then we'll wrap it up here. All right, and then put everything in except the navigation, of course. OK, but this still isn't quite right. If I switch back to Firefox and give this a refresh, I've lost the main contents of the home page. And that would make sense. We've added a layout here. And we've added some content there, but at no point do we make use of that. So again, right now, I'm just going to put it below the nav. All right, that recompiles. And if I give it a refresh, we get what we had before. But again, now the nav exclusively lives within this layout. So next, while we're here, maybe we'll have a header. And we'll have our main app name, my app. And maybe we want this to render like a typical navigation bar that you've seen a million times. So right up here, it's, it's a different background color. The heading is on the left, or the title, and then the navigation is in line on the right. OK. Well, first, I'm going to make this maybe font bold and text large. Next, the header itself will have a display of flex. And then while we're here in the nav section, the unordered list should also be a display of flex. And then the nav, why don't we push that away from the header? So maybe margin left. And I'm just throwing out numbers here, maybe six. All right, we give it a refresh. We're getting there, but this is too close. Uh, we don't yet have a background color. And then the navigation bullets are on top of each other. So for the bullets, we either remove them completely, or there's a couple of things we could do. First, we could use this Tailwind class called Space X, and then we give it a figure, like four. I really like this one. It will automatically add margin where necessary to the direct children of the element that you apply it to. So notice you have margin, if we scroll down here, you have margin on that second list item and the last list item, but not on the first, which would be correct. OK, but again, the bullets are still not quite right. So there's also, what is it, list style position. And we could set that to inside. So again, that's just expanding to this CSS property, list style position inside. And again, that's a little bit closer to what we want. So let's come on back and paste that in. OK, next, we did say that we want a background color. So for example, if we end up very, very basic with a very light background of gray, it's closed. But now we have this huge white border. And that's because you'll remember on our main blade layout file, we added a section with a bunch of padding. So it sounds like that's probably not quite what we want anymore. So if I remove that, yes, everything extends to the edges of the window. But of course, we will manually need to reapply it. So what I usually do is add sections for this. So my section represents the thing that adds the padding that pushes it away from the edge of the window. So if I did something like that, and again, I'm just throwing out a number here, padding 6. Well, then I could add our background color there. And then for our slot, maybe that also is a section. And right now, I'm just duplicating that padding, which is fine. Uh, if you want, you could also extract something like an app section component. And that would contain your default padding. Maybe it even has a container within it. But I'm, I'm going to hold off on that for now. OK, so now I have a section for my header and a section for my main content. The last step, I think, is let's just get rid of that section entirely. And uh, let's check in. Come back to Firefox, give it a refresh, and we're a little bit closer there. I think we could probably reduce this font size a bit. But other than that, we're not trying to build anything specific here. We just want it to somewhat resemble a site you might build. So here, maybe our header is 2XL. And uh, 
That's not horrid. Maybe three, and get rid of the bold. But now one quick thing, notice if I zoom out all the way to simulate a widescreen device, everything's up against the left edge, and you may want your main content to be centered. So you may want to wrap your slot in a div, give that a reformat, and maybe we'll set a maximum width of, I don't know, 2XL, that's 42 rims. If you want to calculate that in pixels, multiply that by your root font size, which is 16. And that gives us 672, which is still fairly narrow, but it's probably fine for what we're building. Why don't we give it one more? 48 rims, 48 times 16 is 768, that's fine. And then I'll set the margin to auto to center it on the page. And that's what we get. Or if I reset it, we get something like this. So yeah, if, you, if it helps right here, background of gray, and you kind of get the idea, your main website would go there. Okay, so with that in mind, why don't we return to our header and let's say justify between. I've changed my mind here. Let's push the navigation to the right edge so I will remove that margin left. And there you go. All right, so excuse that tiny bit of design, uh, but I do want to get back to inertia here. So I want you to notice now our layout file typically contains anything that should be repeated from page to page. So your header, the wrapper around your main content, if you have a site footer, you would probably do it down here as well. And then all of your pages would effectively extend from it, like you can see in our home component. All right, so now I'm going to update settings as well. And because it's the same process, I'm gonna speed this up. Like so. So now users extends from layout, settings does as well, and home does a third time. So come back to Firefox, give it a good refresh. And now as I click between the pages, I'll need to adjust the font size there. But nonetheless, everything is working like it did before. But now, we are using layout files.